So let me close with this illustration. My guess is most of you have never heard of John and Betty Stam. They graduated from Moody Bible Institute and went to China as missionaries when they were 25. China Inland Mission. It was September 1932, and they ministered for two years till December 1934. On Thursday, December 6, 1934, the communists swept in to their village and took them captive. They were 25, remember. The Reds announced in the streets that these foreigners would be executed. The reason, quote, the foreigners have ruined China. Christians have always been slandered. You know, you, you would hope that you would be a martyr and they would say the real reason why you're dying instead of shaming you with a lie. But that's what they said. So they stripped them of their outer clothing to make the shame even worse. They led them to Eagle Hill. They had a baby. The baby was left behind in the village. They didn't even know what would happen to this baby. And they went out of the city. A young soldier lifted the sword while John knelt in front of his wife. And they took off his head in front of her. She didn't scream. She trembled. She fell on his body. And the same sword dispatched her to King Jesus. There is no way forward in this mission without at least a willingness for that to happen to you. If you say to Jesus anything but that, You're not a faithful disciple. We didn't urge you to come to this conference to make life easy for you. We urge you to come to make your life count 